Thanks for pressing like if you enjoy the video. Welcome guys to LOL Idol. Doing facts tonight. Two players will come up at a time. Xbox, I wasn't talking to you. Xbox, stop listening. <laughs> anyway, two people will come up at a time and they will share facts and you guys will vote in live chat letting us know which fact was your favorite. The goal of this episode is to like learn something you didn't know before, something new, something interesting. And uh, you guys will vote on that. So let's get started. Okay, Paradise, you're up first, dude. Go for it. Should I say the same fact? As yep. Last time or yep, we had to redo this, but it's okay to share your fact. I won't be giving any okay. commentary this time. In 1950, Tootsie Rolls were accidentally sent to the fighting U.S. Marines instead of ammunition. The Battle of the Chosen Reservoir was lost when a request for the snack, code word for ammunition, was taken literally. Ah. Uh, so Tootsie Rolls were not super effective. That's too bad. But yeah, that's pretty sad though. See my box full of Tootsie Rolls. Yeah. Man, that was messed up. We need Tootsie Rolls. Send them. <laughs> Someone didn't tell what the keyword was. Alright. Alright, Beals, what's your what's your uh, what's your fact? So the KKK is currently uh -huh. handing out candy in South Carolina to recruit people. Are they doing it from vans? Like white vans? Hopefully. God. Hopefully. <laughs> the pedophile KKK. Candy's used often to, like, actually recruit people, though, for things. Like, if you're out in the street, at least in New York, and then people are trying to, like, sign you up for, like, a credit card or a bank account, they'll have, like, you know, a bowl of candy to kind of, like, you know, get you to come over. So, candy's, uh, uh, a common thing to use. But KKK using candy, I don't know. I don't know. Is it, like, only a certain kind of candy? Like, only, uh... I don't know, uh, like peeps or something. Anyway, thank you guys. Let's put up a poll and see who gets more votes. Paradise or Beals? Well, what can I say? Well played. People like Tootsie Rolls. Thanks, Beals. What the? Ooh. There we go. <laughs> Grace is here. Alright, thank you, Paradise. Please wait on that platform over there. I'll let you know when it's time for round two. Next up, let's go ahead and take cool. Mr. Big Sexy and let's take um, DJ Ready. Come on down. You really want to go second, huh, DJ Ready? All right, that's cool. So, yo, Mr. Big Sexy, what's your fact? All right. A banyan tree near Kolkata, India is bigger than the average Walmart. Wait, a tree? Like an actual tree tree? Like the... It's like... Wider? Yes, like a real tree. How old is it that you do you know? Do you have any inf inf other information? Or is that all you got? 250 yeah, years well. old. <laughs> 250 <laughs> years old? That's crazy. That's, That's crazy. Tree. Wow. Thank you, Mr. Big Sexy. I thought trees were big. I never realized they were that big. Like, I went to... Um, per I went to Peru a couple years back. And there were some, like, really big trees, like, ginormous, but they were, like, maybe the size of, like, like a house, not a Walmart. That's nuts. A world tree. All right, DJ, ready? How about you, dude? What's your fact? Did you know the lion used in the original MGM movie logo killed its trainer and two assistants the day after the logo was filmed? Whoa. Wow. Never knew that. Wow, why'd they need, like, was he just angry with his contract? I don't know, <laughs> man. Like, I don't, that was a bad joke. Right that's, that's messed up. Alright, there we go. We got Big Sexy and we got DJ. Let's do this. Poll time. Well, tree Good versus game. lion. Game, it looks yeah. like, surprisingly, the lion won. Ah, oh, god damn it. Whatever. Whatever, I don't feel bad for missing that shot. All right, cool. Next up, let's go ahead and take, uh, let's take Slap Nut and let's take uh, Fluffy Chair. Come on down, guys. Okay. Fluffy Chair, what's your fact? <clears throat> Alrighty. Did you know that banging your head against a wall can burn 150 calories per hour? Yeah, but like, all right, 
I, I mean, I didn't know that, but I mean, just standing up every hour burns like 50 calories. I think I'll, I think I'll just go for a walk. <laughs> What's up? I said you know now. I now I know. That, that's right. Thank you, Fluffy. You've enlightened me. All right, slap nut. Okay. How about, yep. During sexual intercourse, along with his genitals, a man's nose also gets slightly bigger. I had made a rule that there would be like absolutely no sexual jokes, so I'll let Organs. this one slide. I know we were, I know we were having microphone issues earlier, but okay. So you're saying? I definitely didn't hear that. <laughs> Shall I repeat it? Nope. Nope. I heard it. Okay. It's fine. All right, here we go. Fluffy and slap nut. Is that why your nose gets bigger when you see me? Interesting. All right. <laughs> Fluffy slap nut. Let's let's do this. Yeah, I know. But there are no sexual Pick up facts. line. And it looks like Fluffy got this one with his with his headbanging calorie thing. I'm guessing that's more because folks in chat were were feeling the rules today. But yo, it's all right, man. I learned yeah. something, slap nut. I'll be keeping an eye on on some noses to make sure no one's getting too excited <laughs> when they see me. Thank you, dude. All right, Fluffy over there. Next up, let's take E Man and let's take Rye Gaming. Come on down, guys. Okay, Rye, educate me. All right. There are over 200 corpses on Mount Everest, and they are used as waypoints for climbers. Wow, do they really do that? Do they really use corpses for waypoints? Yep. Wow. I don't know. That's kind of cool, right? A lot of people, when they die, they just go underground or they get cremated, and they're never useful again. Like, at least on Mount Everest, like, your body is, like, useful for something. Yeah, that's pretty useful. Pretty useful. Thank you, Rai. E-Man, step up, dude. Further up. Piece of shoulder to shoulder. There we go. All right, E-Man, what's your fact? The release of Halo 2 was delayed because one of the developers hit a picture of his butt within the game. Oh, I remember that. Wait. I never heard of this. Wait, so a developer actually, like, hit a picture of their butt in the game? Yeah. Yes. So they were the they were probably fired, them. right? I don't know. It doesn't say. Oh man, oh man. They 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 would have to absolutely love the guy for them not to fire you, like to like delay a launch of like AAA and Halo Two was huge when it came out. Like, that's nuts, man. I don't no, remember that. This is butt. This is butt. All right. Do you remember? Do you know where you hit it? It's very secret. It was like in the back of this campaign map, I remember. Secret. Yeah. But it didn't make it into the final release, right? It was just like... No. Alright. Alright, here we go. I watched of it. Ryan E-Man. Let's put this poll up and see how it goes. Good to jump. Alright, no. so apparently people like butts in Halo. I Sorry, fell Ryan. To death. No! You did. You fell to your death. I mean, you fell while dying, or fell while yeah. dead. Why? All right. Why your shot? All right. Oh. Last set for the first round. We got, we got, fusion and uh, I can't read your freaking names. Advanced warfare. Like what the hell? Why is the font so small? AJ. And uh, and God it's damn it. Fusion. Fusion. Thank you. Come on down, guys. Whose idea was that? All right. Probably the same guy who hit his butt in Halo 2. Hired that guy again. <laughs> it's full of great ideas. All right, here we go. So AJ, what's your fact? <clears throat> no president of the United States was an only child. Really? None of them? Yep. Every president had brothers. Had every siblings. every president. Wow, that's Apple crazy. Yeah. Wow. Man, wait. Does it? So Obama has a, a brother or sister? Yes. Huh. I'm not sure which one he has, but Barack he has a Obama. 
Yeah, wow. That's that's a really interesting fact. So basically, you grow up and you don't have a brother or sister. Like, sorry, son, your chances of becoming present are actually way lower than that other kid over there. Um, yeah. all, right. all right. Thank you for that, AJ. Next up, Fusion. Holy Fusion, what's up, dude? What's your what's your fact? Say otters hold each other's paws when they sleep so they don't drift apart. Wait, say that one more time. Go a little slower. Sea otters hold each other's paws when they sleep, so they don't drift apart. Oh, sea otters, they hold each other's paws so they don't drift apart? That's so cute. That, yeah. They'll float away. Maybe they'll just both float away. Together. Into, like, oblivion. Die. Man, sea otters holding hands when they sleep. Man. They got better relationships than a lot of other people I know. Alright, so we got AJ and... And Holy. Let's do this. Oh uh, wow. Wow, AJ, you lost by three votes. I'll be honest, I found I found I mean Sea Otters holding hands, you know, when they sleep so they don't float away is, is interesting and all, but I found the fact that no US president had has like ever been like an only child super interesting. Super interesting. That should be like a challenge for anyone that is an only child to like become a president. Break break some records. The first president to have no siblings. Anyway. Thank you, AJ. Alright, good job everybody. Uh, let's change locations. Follow me. We should have five players left. We'll have two sets. These will be the semifinals. We'll have a big fish behind you guys. So everyone, line up over here. Alright. Cool. So let's see. Um... Stand up, please. E man, what are you? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> All right, guys. Um, first two people to crouch go last. Go. All right, there we go. Wait. So let's take. No, I got it. Paradise, fusion, and E man, come on down. Only one of you guys will make it to the finals. Bring out your best fact, because you're going up against two others. So all right, E man, what's your fact? In Germany, you can play Pong with the person on the other side of traffic lights. Wait, how does that work? I don't get it. It's like attached to the traffic light and it's wireless so they can play with each other. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 no. I, I'm still confused. Maybe if maybe someone is from there, they'll, they'll understand. But is this for people who are driving or people who are in the passenger seat? But like no, how people who are like on the sidewalk? Yeah. If, if they're standing next to the traffic light, they can play with the people on the other side. Oh, you mean like on two? Okay, so you have people on two corners, and I can yeah. play with the people on the other corner, like some pong. Yes. Okay, I got. It. I thought you were like you were like you know like traffic light controllers, like you know back at some headquarters or something. Okay, I get it now. The people who cross the roads. Now I get it. Thank you, E man. Interesting. All right, Fusion, what's your fact? A monkey was once tried and convicted for smoking a cigarette in South Bend, Indiana. <laughs> what a douche. Freaking monkey. Respect the rules. <clears throat> Thank you, Fusion. How long, how long did that monkey stay in jail, do you know? Um, doesn't say. Life imprisonment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Paradise, what's your fact? Okay. My fact is, Burger King had a campaign for a free Whopper if you unfriended 10 people on Facebook. They sent messages to the victims to let them know they were worth less than a burger. The campaign was quickly suspended. <laughs> for real? When did this happen? This didn't happen yep. in the US. This Was this in the US? What country was this in, do you know? This is uh, the UK. I think it was in the US. It was, uh, it was, uh, the source was in the New York Times. Wow. Wow, I, I would I would unfriend ten people for for a Whopper. I guess you use like use their app or something, right? Like choose ten friends to unfriend and get a free Whopper, and you just select ten friends, and they all automatically get like a message like, "This yep. guy unfriended you because they wanted a Whopper really bad." That's actually really freaking smart. That is awesome. How many of you guys would unfriend ten of your friends on Facebook for a Whopper? I would Can you do it. Do it rapid. You can, can just you do, do it, it then friend them. Unfriend everyone. Well, I'm sure everyone just friended their friends back again. 
I, I would do it. Boy, and I'd be like, sorry, I, I unfriended you because I want to have a Whopper with you. Come come share this Whopper with me. I doubt you could do it multiple times. Because they automatically send you a message. No, you just have to do it once. Less than a burger. <laughs> Man, that, that message is pretty messed up. But well, alright. If I have a thousand friends, can I unfriend all of them and get a hundred Whoppers? No, you got one. I'm sure it's limited to one Whopper, dude. It's probably one Whopper. Yeah, probably. Think about how many. Think about how many Whoppers like, like Zuckerberg would get. He'd like never have to like pay for food again, in his life. <laughs> Whoppers for All life. right. So here we go. We got E-Man, Fusion, and Paradise. Only one person will make it. Time to vote. All right. The poll kind of broke, but I think we have an idea of who may have won. So E-Man. <laughs> Did both of you guys just kill each other? Oh. You hiding? Do you want to hide or do you want to be a man? Oh, oh, oh. Alright. Great. Great. Alright. So, here we go. Next set, it's DJ Ready and uh, Fluffy. Absolutely no sexual jokes. Like, none. No sexual jokes. I don't, I don't want to hear them. Not more. Alright. Okay, here we go. DJ Ready? What's your fact? The first man to survive going over Niagara Falls later died by slipping on an orange peel. Really? Yeah. Man, he didn't even slip on a banana peel, he slipped on an orange peel? Couldn't someone have just changed the story wow. to like, make it like, you know, hilarious and not like, just really sad? How do you slip on an orange peel? Oranges have like, orange peels have like all this frictiony surface. Man. Messed up. Thank you, DJ Ready. Next up, Fluffy, what's your fact? Hey, uh, did you know that the uh, longest recorded flight of a chicken is 13 seconds? That's it? 13 seconds is a pretty long time for a chicken to fly, I guess. Yeah. Wow, that actually is a really long time. Man, the. Like, if a chicken does that, if they break the record, do they just get to, like, live? Is it like Charlotte's Web, where, like, the pig just, like, you know, number one pig, like, number one chicken, like, it just won't Charlotte's die? Charlotte's Web. Yeah. And I, I used to watch a ton of, I watched Charlotte's Web, like, 15 times when I was, like, a kid. It was the only thing my mom had on VHS. But, uh, I'm but alright. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so we got DJ, we got Fluffy. Number one chicken. Let's find out who wins. Alright, the votes are in. And DJ's got it. Yeah, you were you were especially you went down there with like a tummy ache or something. All right, it's time for the finals. We got AB Paradise. We got DJ. Um, wait a second. Wait a second. The demon has respawned. Didn't he left him rejoin. All right, it's time for the finals. DJ, ready? Paradise. This is it. This is where you bring your absolutely most interesting, entertaining fact. So. DJ, what is your fact? Vanilla comes from the Latin word vagina. Wait, vanilla is Latin or like comes? Wait, so what? What's, what's the? What do you know what the exact Latin word is? Is it just Vag vanilla? What? What is? What is the Latin word for vagina? No, vanilla. It's, vanilla comes from the Latin word vagina. Hang on, I need to. I'm just gonna check this real quick. <laughs> 1960s from Spanish vanilla, vanilla plant, literally the little pod. Diminutive of vena, sheath from Latin vagina, sheath, see vagina. So called from the shape of the pods. <laughs> I guess, I guess vanilla pods do kind of look, all right, okay. I don't know, man. That's a, little, that's, a, that's, a, that's a little sexual, but I'll let chat decide there. All right, Paradise, what's your fact? My fact is, a fake tweet had temporarily wiped $130 billion off the stock market in 2013. It claimed that President Obama had been injured in a White House explosion. Wait, which stock was this? All the stock market. Oh, so someone like tweeted out like a fake tweet about something happening to Obama, 
the stock market like yeah. crashed or something and then uh yeah 100 slipped. billion dollar 130 billion dollars wiped out wow but i'm sure most of it came back not Fake. all of it that's kind of crazy though the power of like a tweet the power of a tweet but all right there we go we have our final two facts i thought they were pretty good ones dj and paradise let's find out who the winner is The vote's over. Well played, DJ. And Vagina Shaped Plant wins. Keep you again. Although, yo, for real. I... Alright. But anyway, that's what it is. Thank you, Paradise. That fly. And thank you, DJ. Congratulations. Sneaky bastard, you. Alright. Good game, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. That shot. So bad. It's disappeared. Where'd my body go?